This week, we're going to take a look at the Spider X Elite from Datacolor. Previously, we looked at other products from the Spider range and how you can use them to get accurate colors in camera. Now I'll show you how you can calibrate your monitors to ensure you have the most accurate colors for post-production. Full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video, but the Spider X Elite was very kindly sent to me from Datacolor to try out and make this video. But as always, all opinions are my own and they do not have a say in the final video. We all know that not all displays are created equally and that everyone will see the images and videos we put out there online slightly differently. This is where the Spider X Elite comes in. Having a calibrated monitor will give you the confidence and peace of mind knowing that the colors you are seeing are accurate when you put your work out there into the world. Datacolor currently offers two versions of the Spider X, the Pro and the Elite. They are both fantastic for calibrating your displays, but the Elite does offer a few extra features such as video and cinema calibration targets, which is really useful for those of us who are primarily working with motion. Datacolor makes the whole process very simple. Included inside the box is the Spider X device itself and information on where you can download the free calibration software. Once you've downloaded and installed the software, it will guide you through a few simple steps to ensure your monitor is at a good starting point to be calibrated. This includes warm up, lighting conditions, display controls, and spider connection. All of these are fairly self-explanatory and they each come with their own set of instructions. You can decide if you want to calibrate a desktop or laptop. It will then let you choose the make and model. You may have control over both the brightness and temperature of your screen, and so you can select which here. The display technology section will allow you to select the appropriate setting for your backlight. If you're not sure what your display uses, there are some basic descriptions below that can help, or you can consult the manual or website of your particular display. If you're calibrating your screen for the first time, you will want to do a full calibration. It does offer you other options if you're recalibrating or checking the status of your current calibration. Following this, you will then be asked to position the device on the screen itself as directed. The device includes a counterweight to help you position it correctly. When you click next, the calibration will start. After a short while, you will likely be asked to adjust the black and white points. Once this is set, it will continue with the rest of the calibration. When it has finished calibrating, you will be asked to remove the device from your screen and then you can name and save your new profile. Personally, I always like to use the date and the device when naming. You'll then be able to see a before and after calibration view. If you have multiple screens, it will give you the option to calibrate another monitor. You can calibrate as many displays as you need. I recommend recalibrating your monitors at least once a month as the colors do drift and it's not always noticeable to the human eye. I hope you found this video on the Spider X Elite useful. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos on low budget cinematography and filmmaking in general, you can subscribe here if you haven't already, or you can carry on watching one of these videos. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.